Yes then guys, how are you doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a play review for one of the biggest, most brutal, hard-hitting centre-backs that I have seen in my lifetime. It is the man Pepe. Uh, Kepler, Levar and Lima Ferreira to be exact. He's got himself a card and it's only an 83 overall team with one team of the week to unlock him, which is cheap as chips. Even for the fodder for an 89, I'm pretty certain that 83 team comes to less than what an 89 costs on the market. Correct me if I'm wrong though, but we're looking at 6 foot 2, medium high, 2 star, 3 star. And now this man's card. It looks really, really solid. I mean, the Portuguese league is a little bit underappreciated. A team this season is around the corner though, so this could be a good investment as more than likely the Liga Nos or the Liga Portugal team this season will have some super juice cards. So part, uh, getting him in on Ken won't be too difficult. But the pace, very, very solid. Dribbling stats look great. The reactions, the composure. Passing, playing out the back, he could do it all. Going forward, the 84 shot power, you never know where their shots are flying, boys. Defending stats, 90s pretty much across the board. High 80s, low 90s. And the physicals. I said hard hitting, 97 aggression. This man does not mess about. He does not hide away from a challenge. As a centre back, he looks top tier, boys. And he's also got dives into tackles and leadership traits. So the only issue for me at the moment are the links. So for this, we're making a bit of a makeshift. Uh, we've got an 81 overall goal, common in goal. It is what it is, boys. Don't hate on me too much. But we are partnering up with Rafa Suarez, who was one of the squad foundation left backs, I believe. Way back, way back, boys. Um, but yeah, well, let me know what you think of Pepe, lads, all right? Subscribe if you're new around here as well. We're trying to push towards 6,000, so every sub means a lot right now, boys. But let's get into some gameplay. Footch Champs qualifiers is where we're heading. This man, by the way, Chem Style, is going to be Shadow, lads. Super juice the pace and the defending. Let's get into the game. Game number one, lads. Okay, okay. Now, that is a test. We're not messing about. We're up against R9 off the bat. I always kind of... Uh, Try and not do qualifiers on the Sunday when the weekly league's still going on because majority of the time I play against absolute sweats. But that's good. It's the ultimate test for our man Pepe. Uh, there's no nonsense here. We need to go full out off the bat. And already we're about to be 1-0 down, boys. But the man is playing as a left centre-back in a back three. Hey, he's, he's got dangly legs, hasn't he? Him and Chiellini are some big old boys. Both almost rocking the skinheads. Not quite. Pepe started growing hair a little bit last season, didn't he? Uh, but basically two skinheads at the back. I need Rio as my third centre-back now. And then we've got the little trio. But the man on the ball. Obviously, you're not doing a lot of dribbling with centre-backs. That's noted. You guys should know that by now. But yeah, he feels pretty clunky, lads. So definitely stay away from it. And of course, with these defender player reviews, I do try my best uh, to test out mainly their defensive attributes. But at the end of the day, I'm playing a game of FIFA. I need the win. So you're going to see the goals as well, lads. But let's do this. Come on now, Pepe. Let's see if he's worth the price because he's so cheap. The right trigger, left trigger jockeying isn't necessarily super quick, boys. He feels a little bit on the slow side of things. That might be the lack of agility on the card. I mean, compared to most centre-backs, he's pretty much average pace, I would say, which is insane. Taking in mind, 80 odd pace last year would have been cracked out. It's a big leap from the, uh, the cross there. He should be decent in the air. Six foot two, he's not the smallest lad about. Uh, so he should be able to do a job for you. So guys, team of the season community vote is out. Let me know down below what you think. Who are you picking? I'm yet to do mine, but I've seen, a, I believe Lacazette's been nominated, which is a little bit questionable. Oh, stand my ground. Yes, Pepe. Yes, there we go. I definitely got a bit hot-headed there and went for the sliding tackle, but he gets up. He felt quicker there, to be fair. Tracking was pretty good. Uh, but yeah, Lacazette has been nominated for team of the season. Uh, most consistent, that's not most consistent, is it? It's the community team of the season, which is massively questionable. Being an Arsenal fan, I've watched the majority of the season and I can confirm he definitely doesn't deserve a team of the season card. Uh, but I'll have to stick him in just for the vibes. Why not? But let me know down below who you're voting for, lads, and who you definitely want to get in there. Watch the runners. We've been spun a little bit. Hard to track, hard to run. But Coutinho beats me and we're 2-1 down, boys. I feel like I'm a little bit uh, outmanned at the back. Rocking the three in the back formation with Ronaldo, Coutinho bombing forward. Pepe can't handle the heat right now. One more. Maradona near post and instant impact. We're back in it, boys. Oh, what an absolute scholar. Gentleman. Clap him in, boys. He doesn't want the heat. He can't handle the Pepe heat. I don't blame him. Nah, I love that, man. He's given us the win at the end of the day. Obviously, he's not about the sweaty gameplay. I'm fine with that. I'll take it, boys. Let's get on to game number two. Okay. It's respectable. Nice little, nice little team. I like it. Mike, my nanny goal as well. He's always absolutely cracked against me. Uh, so hopefully this time around he's not on it. Boys, I don't know what it is. Change your plan. Play your qualifiers on Sunday. If you're struggling to qualify for foot champs, boys, Sunday's the day to do it. Let's get into game number three. <laughs> Third time lucky. Okay, there we go. 
Yeah, yeah, there we go. 98 Pele, 94 Mbappe, and a cheeky Eusebio in there. This is the old test for Pepe Cito, isn't it, man? Come on, big boy. We're gone for it, lads. We committed. He's got a bit of a slow lunge, and he dives in there. Oh, big interception for the man. Tracking back on his own accord there, boys. Nice bit of defensive awareness to come in and sweep up. Now, hopefully, the counter attack is on. Stoichi coming across to Mbappe. He's just going to whip this in, isn't he? Yep. Yeah. Done. The issue with Pepe now, especially without Team of the Season cards, is there's just so many insane centre-backs this year, lads. Like Chiellini, for example, not too... Actually, no, Pepe's a lot cheaper, to be fair. Uh, but very similar cards, but I feel like Chiellini's probably different gravy at this stage. And you're basically, in, when doing this card, you're basically investing in waiting for Team of the Season, the Liga Portugal cards, to be available. And then definitely, he becomes a more viable option because of the links around him. One more. Big interception. I was going to say Mbappe definitely spun him a little bit there, but it is 94 player of for Mbappe, so that's fine. We'll let him off. We're not expecting him to really be able to, uh, to handle that all the time. Brilliant crossfield pass as well to Arkelian. Uh, but he recovered well. Big interception. I'm noticing the AI defending traits. Uh, he is drifting into fantastic positions and making big blocks for me without me really having to worry about it, which is definitely what you want from your defender. Little double A. Ryan, it must be. I definitely rushed it there, but that does mean Pepe gets to pop up from a corner. Can we find the man? Can we find him? Or Chiellini? Oh, I see Mbappe in a ton of space, boys. The crossfield passes are accurate. That's what I like. I do like spreading the play in a 3 5 2 formation. Cool, calm and collected. Well done. No silly business. And we move. Back to him, maybe. Mbappe, once again, in a ton of space out there, boys. Accuracy. On point. Come on, lads. We need that goal. That is not how we're going to get it. Nice little block again from Pepe. One on one defending, he seems to be pretty reliable. He's not super quick, not super easy to jockey with, uh, but majority of the time, I feel like you should be able to handle uh, your opponent unless he's super cracked out on the old skill move stick. But come on now, boys. We need that goal before the half. This could be it, lads. That has to be Killian. Fuming. Oh, man, I'm happy with the pace. Super sub of dreams right here. Recently upgraded as well. I oh, spun Ramos. One more. Boys. Boys. Can we get any closer? Maybe Pepe's going to be the man to leap like a salmon. That's the perfect pass, boys. And it is. It is our man. Pepe. It was meant to be the movement. He created a bit of space. Ah, oh, dreams. Absolute dreams. So there we have it, boys. A big performance from our man, Pepe. Uh, and he ends up getting the goal in the last game. It was things that dreams are made of right there. Three matches played. One, unfortunately, well, not for my sake, but it was a free win. Uh, but the two games that he did fully play, he was top tier for me. For the price as well, an 83 overall team. I'm not sure exactly how expensive that is, but it... It doesn't sound like it's going to cost a lot at this day and age, especially because 83, some of them go for discard value. So for price-wise, it is a massive W, even just for fodder. And as I said many times, take in mind the team of the season is coming out soon. Liga Nos, Liga Portugal tends to be one of the uh, recent ones or one of the sooner ones, I believe. As uh, I'm not sure if it's one of the main leagues or one of the sub-leagues that come out with the main league. Uh, but there'll be definitely some sick cards to partner this man up nicely. And in a back three, he was really solid. The only issue I would say with this card would be the agility. It's a little bit on the low side. He can get spun quite easily by the likes of Pele, uh, Mbappe, for example. But those are high tier cards. Every defender in the game could pretty much get spun by them. But defensively, he is solid. He's a brick wall. The aggression is notable, especially AI defending. He does a lot for you. Uh, you don't have to control him too much, which is quite nice. He gets into the right positions with that defensive awareness and makes the block when needed. Overall, a fantastic card. And from the air, he is going to be lethal. He leaps like a salmon, as you saw by that goal. Doesn't mess about with the finishing as well, boys. In my opinion, a big W of an SBC. Let me know down below what you think of Pepe and the team of the season vote. Let me know who you're picking. I'd be more to subscribe if you're new. Catch you very soon for another one. In a bit, boys.